Hi and welcome to Tech Nation TV. My name is Rusty G. I'm Alan. And it's episode number 30. This week we've got a lot of talk about Mobile World Congress seems to be the hit. Yes. Over in Barcelona. But we got some iPad news just as well coming up after this. As Mobile World Congress is starting to wind down, it's the end of it. It seems to be a lot of announcements for cell phone for our cell phone providers. Cell phone as well. <laughs> but it looks like there was a lot of different announcements for phones, even ones that we wish could be made. Yes. Remember the one I sent you, the uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 yes. that's still rumored that looked beautiful. Yeah, that phone right there, exactly. Edge to edge, huge. Awesome. I would love to have that phone. Mm -hmm. I would throw away my iPhone in a heartbeat just because yeah. the screen was huge. Look at it. It's this big. <laughs> yeah, and then there was also what, the Samsung projector phone? The Bean. The Beam. Okay, so they're having, I think it was a 15 lumens light that was in behind it. Remember that... Um, and maybe the other show we were on, but uh, the projector phone? The, the Pico projector thing? It was a phone as well. Okay, I don't remember this. The projector was on the side. Right. It was this thick. I don't remember this. You remember that? I don't remember this. Well, you should watch that show. <laughs> we were on it. It was pretty good, but we got canceled. <laughs> but the beam had the same amount of, you know, the girl, the video. Right. We'll like, show the video. You can look at me. <laughs> she kept kind of... <laughs> trying to make it look good. Yeah. That's 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 the thing is I have a problem with these projectors. And how hot is it gonna get? Yeah, that's the other thing is you got a battery in there that's you know already overdoing itself for a mm -hmm. smartphone that's eating up. Then you're adding a projector in there as well, which the light puts off enough heat of its own. And whatever microprocessor they got in there, that's projecting uh, producing heat. Jeez. Projecting? It, it, there. Exactly. But I mean it, is it worth it? No. Nope. I, I don't know. The reviews are kind of half and half on it. I haven't really seen a hands-on, but so far... Oh, eh. pass. Yeah, but one of the other phones I want to talk about real quick, you actually sent this to me early one morning, uh, the 41 megapixel Carl Zeiss lens on the, uh, was it Nokia something or the other? The 808 or the 404? Or I think the... it was 808, yeah. yeah. 41 megapixels. That was crazy. That's useless. <laughs> hey! I want to make my own billboard. <laughs> Click. I mean, it, could, it could produce this image. Oh yeah, definitely. Basically, I, I think one of the articles... Can you was, watch the bar? I was like, I'm going to take a picture of you. I'm going <laughs> to message you a, a photo. <laughs> I, I think one of the articles I was reading said, it's megapixels have megapixels. <laughs> I mean, it's that big. Yeah. And apparently, they've been working on this phone for five years in secret. And the lens can zoom in to the point to where you still have a really high grade, high quality, high resolution, high whatever phone picture. I would like to see an entire movie filmed with it. I think really? that could be done. Okay, so like, Act of Valor was filmed with a Canon 5D. Yeah. Maybe we could see another film I think, by the Nokia. I think, I think there will be a movie okay. produced with just this phone. I would say, and I will even say, that if it comes to America on the AT&T network, I will trade in my HTC Android whatever phone I have for G, and I'll go get it. And we'll make a movie of some sort. <laughs> or just film an episode, either way. But yeah, lots of different phones coming out of Mo uh, the Mobile World Congress out in Barcelona. A lot of other announcements, actually, as of just a few days ago, Microsoft announced Windows 8 Consumer Preview. Mm -hmm. It's out. It's tiles. Yes. Huge tiles made for that tablet of yours that you may have, whether it's an Asus, whether it's Acer, whether it's Samsung, whatever. Exactly. It, it, it won't make it to the iPad, no. But, I mean, I've already yeah, downloaded... My iPad's jailbroken. <laughs> I've already downloaded the 3.3 gigabyte version, the 64-bit version. 3.3, mm -hmm. I think the 32-bit is 2.5. It's, it's very tablet ready. Is it mouse-friendly? It is not mouse-friendly as far as the tiles are concerned. Mm -hmm. You can, however, switch in between the desktop and also the tiles version. Basically they've given you that same fish that showed up in Windows 7. Uh, Vista, actually, I think. Was it Vista? I think it was Vista. They give you the same fish 
in a kind of a weird character style thing, mm -hmm. and the start button has gone away because they want you to use it on a tablet. Basically, you pinch in and you get all your tiles and you get your start menu, as it were, and you can see all of your tiles from your start button. Yeah. So it is mouse friendly on one side and not so mouse friendly on the other. I think the future of this will obviously be tablets. Yes. I was talking to a guy at work today who even said, do you think Microsoft will overtake Android in the tablet market based upon this? What do you think? Well, I think you can get a lot more done with this, with the Windows. Right. Yeah, but Android <laughs> is so cheap to make. <laughs> mass market yeah that every tablet there. you know like think you know like those brands like so uh, sandio and yeah. westinghouse and asus and there are people that have never made a computer before in their life are making tablets because they can put android on it right so. yeah uh the thing that we were talking about is i told him i said in my theory i think yes microsoft will take over the tablet market with this new operating system based upon the fact that you can get a desktop, a full-on you know, operating system with as well as your tile version, your app version as it were, to you know, do whatever it is you need. Because like you and I were talking before we shot, people at home don't really need a PC anymore yeah. except for web browsing, YouTubing, Facebooking, you know, your standard application. They don't even need it for that. Yeah. I mean, they've got their mobile phone, so why not go to a tablet, forget the computer altogether. They don't have to buy the dusty old box. Mm -hmm. or they don't have to, you know, go to their neighbor who builds them and, you know, have them custom make them one because they just have a tablet. So I do think that Microsoft eventually will take over the tablet market. That's what I think. I think Android will just become number three, unfortunately. Not right now because it's obviously on, like, the Samsung Galaxy Tab, the Motorola Zoom 2, soon to be the Google Zoom 2, mm -hmm. or the Google Zoom 3, however they want to go about it. But uh, I just think that's the future of the way things are going. But, you know... On the other side of things, I did want to talk about one other thing that wasn't at Mobile World Congress was OnLive. And if you don't know what OnLive is, OnLive is gaming through a, a box of sorts. It's not an Xbox, it's not a PlayStation, it's not a handheld, it's not anything. It's just gaming through the internet. You basically stream the game to your set-top box, plug it into your TV and you got a controller. And it doesn't matter what platform the game's on, you can play it. Great. Better thing. You can't have Flash on your iPad unless yes, you jailbreak it, unless you do certain apps. But with this new online desktop app, you can now bring PDFs, Flash, all sorts of stuff, because you can now bring your Windows desktop to the iPad. So is it just an app I can put on my iPad, or do you have to have something on your machine as well? I would assume that I will have to have something on my machine as well. Um, it looks like it costs $5 a month to actually have this, and it should be eventually be able to reach the Androids, Macs, Windows PCs, everything across the board, but basically it allows you to have the Windows feel mm -hmm. on an iPad because you're remote control, basically remote controlling that Windows, you know, desktop. So it's cool. You can watch Flash through it and have your full-on Internet Explorer, Firefox, or whatever, mm -hmm. and have Flash going. And there's really not much lag time in between. It's really nice. I think it looks great. Check it out if you have an iPad. I may even set you up with mine and just see if you can just mess around with it. All yeah. right. Something cool we'll talk about later. But one thing that kind of uh, frustrated me today, uh, this actually came out. AT&T, again. Yes. Like I said before, has been killing us for forever. They're basically taking my unlimited and going out the door. And I hate it. I really do because I've had it since iPhone 1 or iPhone 2G, as it were. But either way. You had it before that. Well. Because unlimited was just, hey, come here, we'll give you unlimited. Hey, come here, we'll give you unlimited. Hey, you come here, we'll give you unlimited. Because <laughs> all we got is the Nokia 6161. <laughs> And you're it not, took forever to load a page. You're not going to do anything with your screen screen. <laughs> then uh, the Razer the Razer came out. Yeah, then the Razer came out. Okay. Now we can load a WAP page with yeah. text, email, and, eBay, yeah. things like that. Yeah. Okay, okay. And that's when the uh, texting charges started adding yeah. up as well because, yeah. you know, it's just AT&T seeing another profit for revenue. 
Yeah, so what has happened is obviously over the last little bit we've been seeing throttling and top five messing or top five percent in your area of people that are you know doing lots of data getting you know throttled back or whatever getting slower speeds well AT&T finally has said as of Thursday which was February the 28th I believe mm -hmm. uh, or actually no today March the 1st I'm sorry um, all 3G HSPA plus customers now will be throttled once they reach three gigs of data and 4G LTE customers will be throttled once they hit 5 gigs of data, where previously it was 1.5 gigs. What's that 4G two LTE you're talking about? Yeah, really. Nashville doesn't even know anything about it. <laughs> Verizon has it, which you actually were telling me before. Verizon will sell us 4G LTE with $30 for 4 gigs yep. right now. I'm almost thinking about going to Verizon. I mean, seriously, for the same 30 bucks, I get 4 gigs and I'm not getting throttled. Mm -hmm. And I might even judge. Just go get a freaking Thunderbolt, even though it's a really crappy phone. Yeah. <laughs> or a Droid Razor Max. Droid Razor, yeah. Yeah, I think with, I may go a Droid with Razor. With a good battery. Right, the Droid Razor Max. I think I may have to go that way. Because AT&T at this point, you know, they're not selling to their customers who want what they want. They're choking them. They're seriously choking them until they're just dead. And I'm just like, I don't, I don't want to be an AT&T customer anymore. Because it's like the more I stay with them, the worse they get and the more they want to screw me and I don't appreciate it and it's just freaking stupid. <sighs> but anyway, that's my little rant about that. <laughs> Anything else? Yes. His iPad next week will be obsolete. Yes. Well, depending on which rumor goes true, may not be obsolete. It seems so... like... Tune in. <laughs> but uh, it looks like next week they're going to be obviously announcing the iPad 3. There's a couple of different rumors based upon the picture that came out on the invitations. Some people say, oh, it's not going to have a home button because there was no home button on there. You just turn it the other way and it does the same thing. But uh, yeah. anyway, but the rumors that we do know are true are going to be, it's going to have to have the double resolution that uh, whatever the 24 I don't even know what it is but basically double the resolution for the screen same size it's gonna be a little bit thicker I think it sounds like is what they were saying just a hair thinner uh, not by much and then the two rumors that are up in the air right now is there seems to be three SKUs for this new iPad mm -hmm. Wi-Fi 3G and the third one they don't know about Ooh. The, the third one they think is going to be either LTE, LTE 4G, both on AT&T and Verizon, which again, true AT&T because they don't have 4G in Nashville. Or the other one, iPad 2 in an 8 gigabyte version, which kind of sucks. Even though there's a lot of cloud services out there, you still have to be on a Wi-Fi service to get those. So if you're not at home at work or wherever that gives Wi-Fi, it kind of sucks. So. Uh, for me, not so bad because it, I have work at I have Wi-Fi at work. I have Wi-Fi at home. I'm really only on 3G ba back and forth between, and eight gigs. Yes, yeah, uh, same for me. Uh, I've got 64 gigs, so I'm not scared. Of right, whatever's coming out. Right, so I can handle it. <laughs> and same for me. I'm under Wi-Fi at home at work here. Right, and if I'm not, I'll just tether. Right. Yeah, I, I think what they're trying to do is, and there's a third hidden rumor which I'm about to hit, but I just want to go over the little bit of reason why the second rumor is about the 8 gig. Apparently they're wanting to get into the lower end market, because obviously right now when you buy an iPad 2, $499. Steve Jobs wouldn't stand for this lower end market stuff. <laughs> You're right, I, I totally agree. He's definitely a perfectionist. Yeah, he would not want to go this route at all. I, I agree. I think that that rumor is a little less true, maybe, and this is the reason why yeah. I kind of go towards rumor number three uh, that isn't talked about much, but a 7-incher iPad, which is smaller to compete with your Samsung Galaxy Tabs, mm -hmm. your Amazon Kindles, your Toshiba whatever your Acer whatever, your Asus whatever, you know, they all have their smaller versions yeah. and they're selling like hotcakes because they, again, they're cheaper and they have Android so it's, you know, a lot less expensive, mm -hmm. things like that. So could Apple show up with a 4G LTE iPad? Maybe. 
Could they show up with an 8 gig iPad 2? I don't think so. I, don't I think it would be a waste of this of this screen size right. for just 8 gigs. And then the third one, a our, 7 inch. watch only has, I mean, is 8 gigs, right? Mine's actually 16, I believe. No, I take that back. It is 8. You can get a 16 gig iPad Nano. Yeah, so I don't or think, iPod Nano, sorry. I don't think they would want all this revenue and you can only do 8 gigs. Yeah. That's just a, a unless they're not. Unless they're going to sell you on the cloud service, which, by the way, if you haven't seen the new commercial, uh, they are highly, highly pushing the iCloud mm -hmm. because you can save your pictures and your photo or your photos, your notes, your music, your documents, your everything through the iCloud. So it's basically what Steve Jobs wanted way back when Mobile Me was around, and the one before that, which was Dot Mac, and the one, mm -hmm. you know, you get what I'm saying. But yeah, so we'll see. March seventh is coming up just around the corner. We'll find out. It's, you know, the other thing that sucks though is it sounds like a, a rumor that may be true, maybe not, $80 more. So if they do stay on the low end at $499, it'll go up $80 for the iPad 3 HD, as it were, right now. That again is a rumored name, not until we know next week what's going to happen. Could it be $80 more for the iPad 3 and then they keep the iPad 2 at the $499 price? Maybe. Maybe. Because, I mean, they're doing the iPhone 3GS. They're still selling the 3GS. They're still, you know, it's free with AT&T yeah, or $49. Just with, trying to give it away. Yeah. And the iPhone 4 is still for sale. And the iPhone 4S. Well, the iPad has always been a generational thing. It's just one and then two and then you get rid of it. Well, now they have three, so why not stick with selling back, you know, one generation back? I think that's maybe where they're going. Maybe they do stick around with another iPad, too. I don't know. I mean, there's no really no reason to can iPad 2. Right. Especially since they just did the iBooks update yeah. for schools. So, what happened to all that? Yeah. We'll find out next week on March the 7th as they do their media event out in Cabo Barro. I cannot remember the name of the place, but it's That's Buena, something. something Bueno where they announced the last two iPads. It's in California. But either way, one last story before we go I want to talk about. California Senator rides in self-driving Google car. He proposes autonomous driving legislation. This is now on par with Nevada, who's doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. Basically, Google's been working on these cars for a very long time. We've heard about the wrecks that they've had, small, minor wrecks, and they weren't even their fault. They were the other driver's fault. You know, um, Could we see Minority Report type dri driving in the next 10 years? No. I think so. Not in our lifetime. You're killing me. Why does everybody think that? Because everybody's in a hurry. You're always in a hurry behind the wheel. You're in a car that's only, uh, you're gonna sit in it. No, I'm gonna sit in it and do stuff that distracts me from driving and I don't care because I'm doing speed limit. I like the idea of safe. I call that, yeah, I, I know. <laughs> yeah. I say in the next 10 years, and, I, and I'm calling it here, it's 2012. I say by 2022, we will have self-driving cars. And I hope that this man is one of the first pioneers to help bring that to reality. That's not a pioneer. Mercedes has had this car out oh, yeah. for a long time in Germany. Right. Which, by the way, Mercedes is actually starting to put Siri into their cars. Yes. That's awesome. So you're going to have the Siri voice in your car helping you out with driving directions, apparently. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, is that it? I think that's it. No? No, a little uh, adult news that caught my eye. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can cue the music. So, uh, PayPal. Okay. Love it. When I sell something on eBay, that's how we do it. it my auctions now says PayPal only. If you don't have PayPal, I don't need to talk to you. Right. Money goes in, great service. Yeah, there's a little tax that gets taken out. I got to pay taxes on everything, so... Okay, I'll let it slide. But this uh, this was funny. So if you're an erotic fiction novelist, wow. Okay. You like that? <laughs> so uh, an, an EFN, we'll call them. Okay. So if you're an EFN, an FN, exactly. And okay, I want to sell my book. On Amazon right or whatever myself right I want to offer for people to buy it online through PayPal because it's just it's easy ever almost everybody has a PayPal account right 
Not anymore. PayPal had banned erotic literature. So, how does PayPal ban erotic literature? Because they're a credit card processing company mm -hmm. that makes their money on processing credit cards. How can they stop me from buying? Because does that mean they can stop me from going into an adult bookstore and buying? Or does that mean that I just can't have a website that sells? It's just online. It's not, okay. it's not in a store. Right. Cause, okay. Because in a store, you can always just go to your credit card or right. cash or check or whatever. Right. Barter. <laughs> of course, bartering in this day and time. But I think it, they're probably just playing off the words. Right. The book is, hey, how to bang her in 10 easy steps. <laughs> That's banned. Awesome. How to get to know her a little better in 10 easy steps. You can probably get away with that. <laughs> I don't know the full details because I laughed at the heading. It <laughs> didn't make it past it. No. Tell us about the other one, though. I thought the other one was actually pretty funny as well. Boxy, yes. which is one of our favorites, which we have still, neither one of us has yet to get, because it's still fairly expensive yeah. for what you're getting. <laughs> uh, tell us a little bit about this Boxy thing. I thought this was kind of funny as he read the heading. Well, so you can't buy your, or sell your erotic literature, <laughs> but you have a Boxy. So next best thing, Pornhub, which apparently is... YouTube for porn. Nice. Yeah. I didn't know this. Now, if you know, Apple products do, um, they don't, don't allow, allow yeah, they any kind much, of adult material or right. anything. Which actually, I think they've kind of slacked back on that because I think I've seen a uh, uh, sexual positions. Like a Karma Sutra. There we go. Kind of thing. I couldn't think of it. Exactly. So, uh, can't give a PayPal? You, if you got a boxy, you're all good because now they've added Pornhub. <laughs> so that's great. So it's another. We channel. probably won't see a couple of you viewers anymore. <laughs> that's awesome. So Boxy, if you want to sponsor Text Nation TV, we would love to have your box on set so that we can show what happens when you go to that channel. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing the sensor bar would be a good place. Yes, a lot of them. Yes. Kind of <laughs> I think that's it for this week. Episode number 30 shall be done. You can always follow us online. We've got Facebook.com slash TV, YouTube.com slash TV, TextNation.tv, and Twitter. Twitter at TextNationTV. Make sure you follow us there. Like us on and Facebook. Google Plus. And I still, I still, yeah, yeah, it's that long. Yeah, it's that long. I'm sorry. The, Google Plus, fix that. There needs to be a plus.google slash whatever. You're controlling cars. <laughs> you own Kansas City. The, the, the last two reports I've seen, though, is Google Plus is not the place to be. It's got 90 million users, where Facebook has 890 million users. So they don't think it's working that well. Same thing with their Google Music service. Well, a uh, Google Music service, yeah. It's like I use like, it. Yeah, like Google Video. It, you know, it... <laughs> Exactly. You kind of go, what? Either way, that's the end of episode 30. We'll see you again for episode number 31 next week. Hopefully, we'll be talking about the iPad 3 next week. We'll see you again. Thanks for watching. We're doing this after this shit again. <laughs> then all of a sudden... Hi, I'm Rusty. Yeah, he saw the first of the <laughs> I'm gonna skip that. I'm gonna skip that. <laughs> Alright. Do 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 do